Hi folks, and welcome to this episode of Hit the Mahogany. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is a classic Italian cocktail. This is the Negroni. Very simple one as well because it's equal parts of the ingredients. It's equal parts gin, equal parts vermouth, and of course the star of the show, equal parts Campari. Now, the Negroni uh, was uh, allegedly mixed for the first time uh, back in the, the very early 1900s uh, in, uh, in Florence. And uh, uh, a count by the name of Count Camilo Negroni, uh, who usually drank uh, Americanos, my understanding is usually uh, Americanos, which are actually Campari, Vermouth and soda water. But uh, it sounds like the Count had potentially been having a bit of a rough day, you know, doing all that counting. Eh, you know, around the countryside, you know, maybe he was a little bit tired, maybe somebody had been giving him a bit of hassle for being a count, so he wanted something a little bit stronger. So he asked his uh, bartender to come up with a, a strong drink, a stronger version of the Americano for him. And that's where the Negroni came from. So instead of putting the soda water in, put in the gin. Instead of a lemon twist, put in an orange twist. Hey presto, you end up with a Negroni. Yeah, that's one story. You know, wherever it comes from, it's an absolutely fantastic cocktail. Really is. And the difficult thing for this, of course, is actually getting used to the bitterness of Campari. Remember, this is it's a liqueur, marrow, you know, is bitter. It's also very sweet as well. And once you get used to those, uh, uh, the bitter herbs, the, the, the aromatic plants, and, uh, you know, the, the, the fruits that are used in this, nobody knows, what, nobody knows what's in it. Uh, the, I think uh, the cochinillo, uh, fruit was potentially, I don't know how to pronounce that one, potentially that's one of the fruits, uh, it's, a, it's a bitter orange, which is why it seems to pair very well with a, a orange uh, as a garnish in the drink as well. Anyway, this one. You can use any vermouth, any gin that you have that you want to try with this. Just try different ones. You know, I think in the, in the future I may try, uh, maybe try uh, Negronis and, you know, start with a base gin and then swap the vermouths or, you know, start with a base vermouth and swap the gins and see what the impact is. I have found, though, that uh, the Botanist is actually one of my favourites, a favourite gin, uh, but it's also a favourite one that actually goes in the Negroni as well. I think clearly the herbs that are used in this just seem to, they just seem to brighten up the Negroni much more. Now, the, uh, the Botanist, if you don't know, Scottish, it's all right, it's a great gin. This is from the, the Brew Laddich distillery in Isla, and... Uh, yeah, it's just a really, really good gin. All right, so it's going to be equal parts, so we'll start with this. Uh, so because it's equal parts, you can measure it with pint glasses if you want, or you could measure it with uh, a, a, just regular jiggers, you know? Anything you've got, even shot glasses will do. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to use an ounce and a little bit extra, uh, a little extra half here. Ah, it's been a long day. Let's get an extra drink in here as well, all right? A little bit extra. Uh, Vermouth, this is the uh, Carp uh, Carpano, I keep forgetting how to, Carpano uh, Antica formula. Great vermouth this one, fortified wine uh, with uh, again herbs in here as well, so there's a sweet, a slight bit of bitterness to this as well, but this is a classic one. As I said, whatever sweet vermouth you have, then just get your hands on it and throw it in there. It's going to work one way or another. Campari. Here we go. This is uh, from, it's just from just outside Milan. Fantastic drink, covered some of what's meant to be in there. Just an interesting fact, and I don't know if anybody's actually noticed the, you know, the colouring in it isn't exactly natural. Well, actually until uh, the, just before the early 2000s, it was natural. It was coloured with natural uh, red 4 or E160, which, uh, if you know anything about that, is actually from the cochineal uh, insect. It uh, it uh, creates carmanic acid that uh, it, uh, to, to protect itself from predators. Uh, that carmanic acid can then be uh, mixed with a salt, which uh, then uh, creates carmine dye, which is r natural red four, uh, and that's what used to be used to colour this stuff. Uh, now it's actually, I think it's an artificial colouring that's in this now, so it's not that. Now the question you have to ask yourself is, it's artificial colouring that's in it, which is the worse? Is it the thing that comes from the insect, it's all been crunched up, or is it the, whatever the artificial colouring is? Of course, if you're vegetarian, vegan, or got religious beliefs against uh, uh, using uh, insect colouring in your uh, drinks or your food, then 
I know which way you want to probably go, but uh, anyway, it doesn't take away from the fact that this is a fantastic drink, all right? So that was, again, equal parts Campari going into this one. All right, what do we need now? Uh, you can build this in the glass itself if you want to. For this one, you know, I've just got it in the big mixing glass here. I'm going to get some ice into this. Stir this round until it chills down. You know what the thing is? I was actually just looking in my ice bucket here and I realise that I do not have my king cube that I'm going to strain this over. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave that for one second and I'm going to come back. I'm going to go and get my uh, king cube and be back in a second, okay? Okay, now I've got my king cube. All right, okay. So what you want to do is you want to stir this for a little bit. You do want some dilution in this. You know, you've got some spirits in there. You've got liqueurs, you've got a little bit of sweetness. You know, you, you need to thin that out a little bit. And really, you're actually just trying to, you're trying to chill this down a little bit as well, okay? So give that a stir for a little bit. Usually about 30 seconds to a minute should get you enough there, okay? All right, glass, any type of glass that you want. Uh, you do want though to uh, pour it over ice, preferably the larger the ice the better. With a large, sorry, with a large cube like that, what you have is uh, it keeps it cool for longer, but it still controls the dilution on it. It doesn't just, uh, you know, it doesn't dilute it too quickly. Uh, so get yourself large cubes if you're going to be doing more cocktails, definitely. They're well worth the investment, okay? All right. That's it. Mixed up. King cube. Pour into the glass there. And then, uh, I've not actually had one of these in Italy, but uh, I, I read that they actually use orange slices uh, within the drink as well. I, I haven't done that yet, but I think that would be absolutely fantastic, particularly if it's your first time having it and you're a little bit shy of that bitterness. If not, just go straight for your uh, orange peel. Get that in there. Hey presto, that is your Negroni, okay? All right. Okay, so I've tasted a few of these. You can tell this isn't my first rodeo with a bottle of Campari, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna taste this one again anyway. Mmm. Oh, I just love it. Don't have it at the end of the night after chocolate cake. I made the mistake of having a few sweeter cocktails once and then I had a Negroni at the end. Don't do that. It is bitter, but the thing is, you don't really notice it. Once, you've drew, once you drink a few of these, you get the flavour, it's more just a depthness. You've got that weedness, you've got the herbal aspect of it. There's a little bit of the citrus from the, potentially whatever the, you know, the, the, the bitter oranges that are used in there. And then you've got your orange peel in there as well, just to give it a little bit of fragrance as you're actually drinking it. Uh, it's really nice. The botanist goes really nicely with this, just brightens up. But again, no matter what gin you've got, what vermouth you've got, you just want to use Campari in it. Just give it a shot, okay? It's really, really, really good. If you don't like it the first time, okay. Try again the second time, third time. Maybe after about 20 times, if you still don't like it, eh, maybe you can give it up, but uh, certainly give it a chance, okay? And uh, if you do have one of these when you're out for the first time, just remember, it is pretty bitter, okay? So don't send it back saying, eh, you know, I don't like it because it's too bitter. It's freaking Campari, okay? Enjoy it. Okay, cheers, guys. Mmm. Enjoy your Negronis, okay? See you later.